Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Tuesday, November the 30th. And welcome to our video commentary. 2022 is just about 30 days away as we wrap up the month of November. Well, right before Thanksgiving, right before we took a break for Thanksgiving, uh, President Biden uh, said that he was going to be releasing uh, millions of barrels of oil from the national inventory. This is sort of like a special inventory that the federal government has for contingencies and for emergencies where, you know, obviously we don't want to run short of oil in the event of an emergency. So the military and the federal government have set aside these barrels for those situations. So President Biden said he was going to be releasing this uh, oil to help the American middle class during the Thanksgiving holiday. Of course, millions of people were not just flying, but they were driving uh, to see their relatives and so on for Turkey Day. The problem is that President Biden doesn't understand two very important things. The first one is that there is a connection between the prosperity of the middle class and the price of gasoline. The more expensive the gasoline is, the more difficult the middle class budget and economy and family economy becomes. If you have to pay $3.10, let's say for gasoline today, but a year ago, you were paying $2, let's say 10 cents, that extra dollar, those extra 80 cents per gallon uh, add up. And on a monthly basis, all of a sudden you're using money out of your budget that you were hoping to use for something else. Now you're using that money to pay for gasoline. And that has a very negative impact on the family economy and the family budget. It also kills uh, the truck drivers who obviously have to use gasoline to move uh, from here to there. The other thing that President Biden doesn't understand is that we have all of the energy and all of the oil right here in the United States. And, and if you really want to help the American middle class, if you really want to help the American economy, then you unleash our incredible supply of oil so that we can flood the market with oil and keep the price down. That is the way that you're really helping the middle class, not by every so often tap, tapping into the national inventory uh, to release uh, barrels of oil. So we're in a very bad situation with respect to energy. And all of it is self-inflicted. The Biden administration, uh, all of these problems were self-inflicted. All these mistakes did not have to happen. And there is something else around the corner that is not going to make you feel good. And that is the energy bills that are going to start coming in, the electricity bills that are going to start coming in when you're heating your home in the north. They're already talking about 30 or 35 percent increases in the price of electricity to, to heat your home, especially in the north where they have to deal with uh, some rigid and very frigid uh, winter temperatures. So, you know, this is a mess. This is a mess that President Biden created. He's looking to blame it on somebody, but uh, it's on him. He's the one who made this possible. All of these were self-inflicted mistakes and self-inflicted problems that this administration uh, created. Thank you for watching. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.